So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Kerbal video. I was actually wandering around on the internet and I saw this image and I said, hey, with the latest developments in Power BI, we should be able to recreate it quite close. So I've got from there, so I've got from here to here. So what we're going to do today is a mini tutorial. We're going to do the DAX, we're going to do the border mapping, and you'll see the new capabilities, you see the new format of in action, Let's get started. Okay, if you want, you can try to recreate it yourself and see if you get stuck, you can then come back to the video and see it, or you can just follow along as you choose. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with a new page. And um, the first thing that we're going to steal is the color. So I have this color picker. I showed you in a previous video how to get the color picker from Windows. So I get it here. And now we need to go to the format pages and we need to put these on the canvas background. So, and now we have that perfect. The data is actually very, very simple. So I have a package name. This is uh, Python packages, so TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Keras. And then I have the number of stars on GitHub, that's all. So we are going to have package and stars as a bar. Perfect. So it looks Power BI ugly as always. So we need to do a little bit of formatting in here. So let's get rid of the title. We are going to uh, get rid of the background. So we're going to go to size and style background, get rid of it. And then we're going to copy the color for the bars. So I have it in here. And now if you double click on an element on the new format pane, it will take you to the properties for that element. It's actually quite neat. So if you go to color then, you can, I said this before, but I need to say it again. I wish that we would have the format pane hanging in here. So I don't have to go over there. And then if you have a white screen, it's like you have to go all the way over there. Like, please, please. Okay, next we are going to, this one we don't want, the title and this I don't want, get rid of it. And you see that you click on it and it just takes you there. How wonderful is that? Now these are white and the uh, font I think is actually these. And then we're gonna make it bigger start to look like our chart. And then we take the data labels. They are white and that is the same format, uh, font. So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then this element, I don't think that you can select them yet. So we, I just search for grid and then I get them. And these I'm going to have the same colors as that one. And I'm going to have them as solid. And then now it started to look a little bit better. Now, if you can see here, I really don't like when they stop on the number before. I want to know how close it is to the number after. Otherwise, how do you know if you don't have the number in there? So we're going to go in here, get rid of grid lines. We're going to go in here. And then on the range, I ha you have to put the next range. Also would like to be able to choose the intervals, but okay. So you see, now you have a better chance to understand how big this bar is. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is to have the data labels. So as we don't have the data labels yet, you can either go here and then there, or you can just go here, you know, to the data labels. So we're going to go data labels. We're going to turn them on. And then I don't want to have the value. I actually want to have a custom value. You know that now you, we can have custom data labels. So cool, so cool. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to rank these. So we need to know which one is one, which one is two, which one is three. And then we're going to add the image, which is not really an image, I'll show you. So we're going to go here, a new measure. 
rank package. And this is just going to be a simple rank um, formula, right? So rank the stars, not, not the stars, the GitHub I have. So our table, the, the stars table is the same as for the other visualization. And then we're going to do for the sum of, I haven't created a measure for stars yet, so it has to be like that. So now let me show you, I put package, I put rank, I wish it would always be a table for us. Obviously, this needs to be GitHub, our table, not the other table. So, perfect. And so now we have uh, TensorFlow is one, PyTorch two, and this one is three. With this information, now we can actually go and do the uh, images. For the images, I'm going to show you. We are going to use, there are tons of different services. I use the one that first pops up in Google, to be fair. So we're going to search for medal. And then we have first place medal. Here we have the uni chart that we're going to use. So we go back to Power BI, new measure, data label. And then we're going to do switch, and then we're going to do the switch on the rank package. And then we're going to do, uh, if it is one, you need our whatever. Let me do it like this first. If it is two, if it is three, so I need to change this by two. By three, go grab the code again. So here's my code. You need to remove, do you see anything? You see nothing, right? So you need to remove that. And then we're going to go for the silver. Okay, so now we have all the data labels. We're gonna put them on the table to make sure that they look fine and they do. Now we're gonna go back here we're going to go to the, um, this skips happening all the time. There's something wrong. So we're going to go to the labels. And then here, we're going to get the detail instead. And I'm going to grab the icon. You can see there, I'm going to make it bigger. I wish that we were allowed to have um, images in here, but it is what it is. So, and one thing that it was released also last month, I think, is the, if we get that one, the border. So I want to have a white border. Borders are actually quite cool in certain cases for 100% charts and for highlighting or adding contrast between stack bars and things like that. Very, very neat. So you can see like this, perfect. And now we're going to add the title, we need a star. Go up here, star. And I want a big yellow star. That one will be perfect. We need to have this, unfortunately the text, uh, uh, this one, the insert text, this text item object is just, too stupid. We need to have something more advanced. So we're going to have a new measure. I wish that they would have like, the possibility to add measures to that text, but maybe one day, <laughs> who knows. Anyhow, title. So we're going to have uh, the number of stars on GitHub, total number of stars on GitHub. So it was total number of you need her and then boom on GitHub. All right, 
this title is already used because I'm replicating the chart title and then we need to do the useful formatting so we are going to get rid of the category label I don't want it we need to go to the format pane please floating please that would be so much better then I need to have the values white and the font is going to be the same console as well, I think. So, total number of stars in GitHub. Mm -hmm. So there you go, with the new changes or additions in the format pane, we can actually start doing a little more cooler visualizations, which is quite nice. I'm actually starting to enjoy doing visualizations again. Not there by far, but the little improvements they are doing, they're making a huge difference. So I hope they continue with that. I hope they, you know, start working with the matrix and the table because they're quite common visualizations and mm, lots to do there. <laughs> but anyhow, as you can see, we're getting closer. If there is any visualization that you would like me to give it a go and see if we can recreate it, just let me know, put, put the link down on the comments to see, so I can see it and I'll try to create it. This is all for today. I'll see you in the next one.